Hi, welcome to the Sound Museum YouTube channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Join me as I visit the Melbourne Arts Precinct. Firstly, a quick visit to Hamer Hall. Kylie Minogue's Golden Pegasus from her Aphrodite tour is now proudly on display in the foyer. And does it look amazing or what? Love that. Now it's off to visit the Australian Music Vault in the Arts Centre in Melbourne. Remember this outfit from Kylie Minogue's video, Come Into My World? Love this, the song won Kylie her first Grammy. The late Olivia Newton-John wore this gorgeous dress on her ABC Variety Hour in 1978. Tina Arena wore the stunning dress at her Innocence and Understanding tour in 2017. I love Spillins and Crowded House. Neil wore that suit on the US music show Solid Gold in 1981. The late Judith Durham from Seekers wore the screen frock at a concert in Melbourne's Sydney My Music Bowl back in 1967. All you Eurovision fans out there would know the stunning outfit worn by our Dami M in Stockholm in Sweden for the 2016 Eurovision Song Contest. Dami came second with the sound of silence, but we all know she should have won. This dress up close is absolutely stunning. One of Nick Cave's personal notebooks from the mid 80s. How amazing is this? So many incredible items at the Australian Music Vault. Now that hat I think belongs to Molly and there's a Logie there as well. Love that guitar for sound relief. Bit of Midnight Oil. That is Helen Reddy with her Grammy. More fantastic items in the Australian Music Vault. Now, I absolutely love this boombox. It will look amazing in my office. <laughs> this iconic outfit was worn by the late Chrissy Amplett from the Divinals in the late 80s. Pleasure and Pain, what an amazing song. This jacket was worn by John Farnham in his Age of Reason video back in 1988. He won the King of Pop crown from 1969 to 1971. He also won the TV Week Pop Award in 1971. And that is John's Hall of Fame aria from 2003. When you visit the Australian Music Vault, there is a list of aria Hall of Fame inductees. So many legendary artists on this list. Speaking of the Arias, this year the band Jet were inducted into the Aria Hall of Fame. Check out this amazing display for the band at the Australian Music Vault. A guitar there, all their CDs, a vinyl, disco sucks. <laughs> Now, this bass guitar and jacket were worn by members of the band for their video for Are You Going To Be My Girl back in 2003. That's a special display for Jet, this year's ARIA Hall of Fame inductees. What I love about this place is a massive wall full of tour posters. Check this out. It looks absolutely incredible. So many great acts here. There's John Farnham. We love him, don't we? In Excess, of course, Jimmy Barnes. Hilltop Hoods. Australian Crawl. ACDC and Angels. That's a great double bill. So many great posters on this wall. This year, the legendary Australian record label Mushroom turns 50, and here is another display to celebrate that achievement. Skyhooks, Jimmy Barnes, look at those gold discs. Kylie hits number one, I love that. What a great display. I love that. Our artists are our strength. So true. Split ends. A great display for Mushroom Records. 
Oh, look at those badges. Now, back in the 80s, I used to collect badges. I absolutely loved badges. The late Michael Gilinski from Mushroom done so much for Australian music. This special achievement aria was presented to Michael back in 1991. So many outstanding items in this display for Mushroom Records. Now, I so agree with this. Don't kill live music. So true. Australia has a great live music scene, especially here in Melbourne. When you visit the Australian Music Vault, check out the merch available. There's t-shirts, caps, tote bags. There's books, Sunbury Festival. There is some stubby holders there. That book is from Nick Cave t-shirt love that t-shirt you've got books from midnight oil and the seekers so don't forget to check out the merch stand at the australian music vault and pick up some items hey guys thank you so much for joining me for my little tour of the australian music vault if you are in melbourne make sure you visit this amazing place a must visit for music fans <music>